What's up? Welcome back everybody and in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to speed ramp your videos in DaVinci Resolve. The first thing that you want to do is you want to have a video clip of course that is able to speed ramp. So in my case I have a really nice clip from somebody is running going from the left to the right. The first thing that I want to do is I want to click on my right and then I want to go to Retime Control. In here you can make some speed changes. First you want to decide where in the clip you want to have the fast part, the slow-mo part and the fast part again. So in my case somewhere here I want to have that slow-mo effect and I'm boom fast again. All right so it will be fast, slow-mo, fast. You're gonna click on here, you're gonna add a speed point, slow-mo somewhere here again you want to add a speed point and then this part will be fast. So I shot this video clip on 50 frames per second and in my case I can slow it down to 50%. How to slow it down? You're gonna click on this black arrow, then you go to change the speed and then you want to slow it down to 50%. And now you already created a really nice speed ramp. That looks already really good, but you can refine this. Okay, how to refine it? You just click on your right on the video clip and then you're gonna select Retime Curve. And in here, you see that you now have more control uh, of your speed ramping clips. What you want to do is you're gonna click on Retime Frame and then you want to select Retime Speed. Okay, and now you see we have a nice bridge when, where we have the fast part, the slow motion part, and the fast part again. But you also see in this bridge that it is a really rough cut. So let's say that we want to smooth it out a little bit. How can we do this? You just simply hit this little uh, icon right up here and then you just simply gonna select smooth it out. And you see you have a really nice smooth curve right now. So that means the fast part flows really nice into the slow-mo part. We can do that with the other bridge as well the other rough cut I mean, right up here. And then we're gonna just smooth it out. For me, this is already a really good starting point. If you want to have a bit more flow or you want to smooth it out even more, you're gonna select this line and then you drag it all the way out. If you want to bring it closer, make it uh, the curve more sharp, you just draw it inwards. For me, this is something that I think it's a sweet spot. So let's check it again. What we just created. Boom. Boom. Really nice. Another cool thing that you can do is, let's say that we want to speed up the first part of the video clip. So how can you do this? The first way is to just select it, change the speed to 150. Or, let me undo this. You just simply go up here on the corner and then you drag it in and you see speed will change as well. So let's say that we want to do that for the end as well. Something like, something like this. Boom and fast again. Looks really cool. Another trick that I want to show you is what I really like to do with this video. First of all, after I color grade it, of course, you want to stabilize it and you need to check out what works the best. So let's try perspective. Uh, let me do the, this one is better, I think. So it looks a bit weird, but on really nice music, it looks pretty cool. So now I stabilize the shot. The next thing that I do to just really close up with the part that I just slowed down, I will make a dynamic zoom effect. So what I do is I just cut it right here, select this part and then I select dynamic zoom. So when you select dynamic zoom, you want to enable this function up here. So now you can see what you're selecting, basically the Green line means that you will zoom out and if you swap it, the red line means that you will zoom in. So I want to just zoom in when she 
just walked by in that slow-mo effect. All right, so if we're gonna disable this effect, boom, looks really good. Yeah, I like it. Another important thing to remember is when you're working on a big project and you have opened this uh, speed ramp transition, you want to close it again because otherwise it will bring up lots of space in your editing uh, timeline. So how to close it again? Just simply right click and click on Retime Curve and then click on Retime Controls and then you're back to normal again. And guys, this looks really good, but of course it looks way better on some really cool music. Okay, cool, I hope you learned something today. If you did, please give me a comment and maybe also tell me what you want to learn in DaVinci Resolve so I can create a video for that. Have a nice day and I will check you out in my next videos. Bye bye.